boys and girls. How are you? I'm doing well. Do you remember that saying being mindful or the word mindfulness from when we were at school? If you don't, I'll remind you. Mindfulness is a way of paying attention to your thoughts in your brain. And you don't judge them, you kind of are kind to yourself. When we are mindful, we feel better in our mind, in our body. I want to read to you this story. Your Mind is Like the Sky by Broadwin Ballard. The author, Broadwin, writes how your mind is like the sky. So I want you to listen to find out how your mind is like the sky and how you can be mindful of your Your mind is like the sky. Your mind is like the sky. Okay. Your mind is like the sky. Sometimes it's clear and blue. Sometimes it's fizzy and stormy and black and crackly. Often it's just a bit gray. Your thoughts are like clouds. Nice, white, fluffy cloud thoughts. Like, look what I can do. Or, I love to ride my bike. Or, that was a good day. And darker, meaner rain cloud thoughts like, I'm not good at this, or I'll never get this right, or even, I'm useless. Thoughts come and go for all of us all the time. Half the time they've been and gone before you've even really noticed. The trouble with rain cloud thoughts is that they're dark and a bit mysterious. They can make everything else seem dark too. Without you even noticing, they can make you feel angry or jumpy or sad and confused. So, what do we do about rain clouds? You could go exploring. Some people go right inside their rain cloud thoughts and rummage around. They think if they can get right to the bottom of their rain cloud thought, they can figure out how to get rid of it. The problem is, when you're inside a rain cloud, the cloud looks really, really big. And it's hard to see anything else. You could try fighting, but as you'll know, if you ever fought a rain cloud, all that happens is you get a bit wet. You could pretend the rain cloud isn't even there. You could skip about and laugh and tell everyone how happy you are. Sometimes this works and the rain cloud floats off. But if it's a big dark rain cloud thought, it's probably best to put on your rain boots.
or you could try this clever trick. When a rain cloud thought comes into your head, you say, oh, it's a rain cloud thought. And then you notice all the white fluffy cloud thoughts as well. You notice the blueness of the sky and the tweeting of the birds. You remember that the rain cloud thought is just one thought among hundreds and thousands of your thoughts. And you can just let the rain cloud thought float gently away. The trick is to see the whole sky. It takes a bit of practice to look inside your head. But if you just stop every now and then, you'll begin to notice that there are big shouting thoughts and little whispering ones, fast racing thoughts and gentle creeping ones. And you and that you can choose which thoughts to pay attention to. Your mind is like the sky. It's full of thoughts of different shapes, sizes, and colors. It's full of amazing things. These are some notes for grown-up readers. That was a good story. Our minds are like the sky. Sometimes it's clear and it's blue, and sometimes a rain cloud thought comes along and makes everything seem dark. That's when our thoughts can play tricks on us and tell us made up stories. The good thing is that thoughts are just thoughts, just like feelings are just feelings. They can't hurt you. Eventually the the strong thoughts and the strong feelings go away, just like those dark rain clouds. So what can you do about those rain cloud thoughts? What are some ways that you can be mindful at home? Let me know. I can't wait to hear what you come up with.